Hey, we're here today in the library at Cumberland Trace Elementary School here in Bowling Green, Kentucky. It's our newest ICF constructed school that we have in the district. I'm the Director of Facilities and Energy Management, but prior to that I was actually a school board member for 12 years and I was on the board at the time when our superintendent came to us with a suggestion that we look into insulated concrete forms as a new way to build our buildings. New Dura took our construction manager and facilities manager at the time to a private school and looked at that facility. They had a great visit there. And so once we got that seal of approval, so to speak, uh, we decided to go ahead with the construction of Alberton Elementary School, nation's first ICF constructed public K-12 facility. Warren County has really made an effort to focus on ICF and utilize ICF almost exclusively through their efforts as well as the design teams. They've really perfected the science of the zero energy and the net zero schools. So using that as their focus, they have really been able to achieve some really phenomenal stuff. If we can have a tight, well-insulated envelope, we can use less HVAC system. And we see a huge reduction in energy when we team it with good line design, good HVAC design, and good envelope design, and ICF's a part of that. Warren County Schools, we've been their architect for almost 30 years, and because they're a growing district to this day, I can't think of a time where we didn't have a project in either design or construction. So we were always looking to improve on what we had done previously, and so the ICF structural system is structurally stronger than anything you have in the district, and we can actually do it to withstand adverse weather conditions and storms. As a board member and as a district, the first priority that we have is first and foremost school safety. And so when we were informed that ICF constructed buildings could withstand winds up to 250 miles an hour, well, that immediately checked off the first box for school safety. And ultimately, some other benefits are just the acoustics. I mean, here at Cumberland Trace, we're right adjacent to a major I-65 interstate, and you hear virtually little to no noise from the interstate. That noise may not mean a lot to most people, but for some students that noise is a distraction and that's a deterrence to their educational process. So all those hurdles that we can remove for those students, that just helps them learn better. But also when you look at the energy savings that ICF helps deliver us, we understand as a district that our largest expenditure is our salaries of our teachers and staff. But our next largest expenditure is our utilities. It's lights, heating, cooling. And so since that first step that we took with our energy manager, which was 17 years ago, to date we've saved almost $18 million in cost avoidance. And so those are real dollars that we did not have to spend on heating and cooling and lighting. And it went right back into the general fund to again pay for teacher salaries and school buses and things like that, especially in a day and time where public schools, for the most part, aren't fully funded. So we have to be very cognizant of every dollar that we do spend. And so with our energy efforts, it's really been a game changer for Warren County Public Schools. And today we are the most energy efficient school district in the state of Kentucky. And ICF has been uh, played a huge role in that. Thanks for watching. What did you think of the video? Leave a comment down below with your thoughts and don't forget to give us a like. Are you interested in seeing more content like this? Hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with all our videos and we'll see you next time.